Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, we will be starting to discuss with section D, which is the social studies part. In this video, we will start with question number 101. Okay. So which of the following was termed as devilish and tyrannical by Gandhiji and Jinnah? Okay, which one? Ilvertville, Jallianwala Bark Massacre, Rowell Act, Government of India Act 1921. Devilish and tyrannical. It was termed by Gandhiji and Jinnah and it was passed for Rowell Act. Okay. Jallianwala Mass Bark was termed as massacre. Okay. But uh, devilish and tyrannical, it was told to be for Rowlett Act. Now, if you know what Rowlett Act is, what is a Rowlett Act? A Rowlett Act was an act which was passed by authorized uh, British government to arrest anybody, to arrest anybody suspected of having terrorist uh, activities. And it was authorized, the, it, uh, it authorized the government to detain such people and keep them arrested for two years without trial. Okay. It empowered the police to search a place without a warrant. So such were the conditions of Rowlett Act and definitely this was termed as devilish because in those days the British uh, could, according to our Rowlett Act, could arrest and uh, keep in jail or keep in custody any Indians without any crime, just because of the suspicion. So this was termed as uh, devilish and tyrannical by uh, Mahatma Gandhi and China. Next, moving on to question number 102. The Supreme Court of India has laid down specific requirements and procedures that the police and other agencies have to follow for the arrest, detention, and interrogation of any person. These guidelines are also known as MM Basu guidelines, DK Basu guidelines, procedural guidelines, rules of procedure for arrest guidelines so the correct answer for these uh, guidelines uh, is doc is dk basu guidelines okay so supreme court has laid down these specific requirements and procedures that the police and other agencies have to follow for arrest detention and interrogation and these guidelines are called dk basu guidelines that is option number B. Next, moving on to question number 103. Name the Indian revolutionary who threw a bomb in the Central Legislative Assembly on 8th of April, 1929. Shubhash Chandra Bosch, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Chandra Azad. So we all know that Bhagat Singh has been doing this work and he charged a bomb, he threw a bomb in the Central Legislative Assembly in the year 1921 and he was uh, executed based on that. So the correct answer for this question will be option number C, that is Bhagat Singh. Moving on to question number 104. Who is the founder of the Khudai Khidmat Girls, a powerful non-violent movement among the Pathan? Abdul Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Mohammed Ali Jinnah, Maulana Azad or none of the above. So among the Pathans, it will definitely be Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. And uh, we all know his contribution, what he have been doing. So Muhammad Ali Jinnah uh, was a person from Congress and he was influential for uh, building or to establish Pakistan. So that will not be the correct answer. For Pathans, it was uh, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan. So the correct answer to option uh, to question number 104 is option A, which is Khan Abdul Kafar Khan. Next, moving on to question number 105. What is the meaning of the Japanese term tsunami? Ocean wave, tidal wave, current wave, harbor wave. So this will be termed as tidal wave. Tsunami means tidal wave. Okay. So this Japanese term tsunami will this uh, the meaning of tsunami is option b that is tidal wave next moving to 106 air pressure dash as the height decreases as the height increases air pressure increases as the height increases or air pressure decreases 
or first increases and then decreases or remains constant. So let me say you air pressure will, there is no uh, formula like it will increase first and then it will decrease or it will remain constant. Either it has an inverse relation or a direct relation. So air pressure and height has an inversely proportional relation. So if air pressure increases, height will decrease. And if air pressure, that means vice versa. If air pressure increases, height will decrease. And if air pressure decreases, height will increase. So the correct answer, since height is increasing, that means air pressure will decrease. That is option number B. That is number option B that is decreases. Next, moving on to question number 107. 107 says, viticulture is the cult cultivation of number A, grapes, number B, fish, number C, silkworms, and number D, apples. So, viticulture is the cultivation of, most of us might already know this answer, that is the cultivation of grapes. Okay? So, it's not fish, not silkworms, not apples, it's grapes. Next, moving on to question number 108. When did Gandhiji launch the mill worker strike of 1918? South, uh, where? Where did Gandhiji launch the mill worker strike of 1918? South Africa, Kheda, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, or option number B, that is Delhi. So Gandhiji launched this mill workers strike, we all know that was in the year 1918, but this was launched in not uh, South Africa because he came back from South Africa long before. This was in Kheda. Okay. So the correct answer of option number 100, question number 108 is option B, Kheda. Next, moving on to question number 109. Who were the European artists appointed by Muhammad Ali Khan of Arcot? Tilly Kettle and George Wilson, Francis Heyman and William Daniel, Thomas Daniel and William Daniel, Jaham Tufani and Tilly Kettle. So the European artist who appointed uh, Muhammad Ali Khan of Arcot was Tilly Kettle and George Wilson. Okay, that is option number A for 109. That is Tilly Kettle and George Wilson. You will mark this as the correct answer. Next, moving on to question number 110. The temperate grasslands of South Africa are called the dales, downs, prairies, or pampas. So we all know we have studied South Africa in geography in our school levels. So the temperate grasslands of South Africa are called the prairies, P R E. I R I E S prairies. It's not prairies or prairies. It's not like that. It's pronounced as prairies. So if you pronounce like the spelling will also be absolutely perfect. So the correct answer for question number one hundred and ten is option number C. That is prairies. Next, moving to question number one hundred and eleven. Thinnest layer of earth is crust, mantle, core, or none of these. Okay, so we all know the limitations or how long the crust is, then we have the mantle, then the core. So core is the innermost and it's, and you know how uh, larva is there and it's all about molten metal. Mantle is also up to quite a limitation, but crust is the thinnest part or the thinnest layer of the earth where we have the roots and all the metals present also, the soil is present in crust. So the thinnest layer of earth is the crust. That is option number A. This is why we have such problems of deforestation. Right? So question number 11, 111's answer is option A, crust. Next, moving on to question number 112. Which of the following is an example of non-metallic mineral? Uh, we are talking about non-metallic mineral. Bauxite, manganese, lead or mica. So this is quite an easy question that was asked. So non-metallic mineral is mica. You just have to read through the examples of metallic mineral and non-metallic mineral. So mica is a non-metallic mineral. Next, uh, coming to question number 130. The emperor who ascended the throne at 13 years of age was Shah Jahan, Akbar, Humayun or Jahangir. 
So this is again a very common question uh, that is asked. We all know about the life of Akbar. That uh, at his age, early age of uh, thirteen, he was uh, given the throne, and he did prove his powers also. Okay. So after the death of Babur, he had to ascend the throne at the age of thirteen. But yes, he had his guide who has been ruling on his behalf, and later on when he became an adult and it was thought that he was able to he would be able to handle the power and position of a king uh, he was given the throne so accordingly the answer to question number 113 is akbar that is akbar was the emperor who ascended the throne at the age of 30 moving to question 114 the number of seats reserved for scheduled tribes in the lok sabha is 35 37 79 or 47 so the number of seats reserved for scheduled tribes in the lok sabha is option number d that is 47 number of seats okay 47 number of seats is the correct answer so we will mark as option number d for question 114 next moving on to question 115 uh which uh, what is referred to as the supreme law of land parliament president constitution or assembly so what is referred to the supreme law of land definitely it's in cult or it's uh, written in our constitution so we will mark constitution as the correct answer that is option number c option c is the correct answer to our question 115 okay parliament it will not be that why because parliament is not a set of rules and regulations right president will be a person or a position who is holding that and a supreme law of land will not depend or will not change based on his position or what his rights and duties are assembly will also not be the correct answer so all the rules and regulations of the supreme law of land is termed to be written in the constitution so the correct answer to question number 115 is option number c constitution okay so in this video we have discussed up till question number 115 okay uh, that is we have discussed uh, a lot of a lot many questions from this part from the social studies part and this is very relevant to our uh, studies that we have done in the basic levels also in our school level so up till 115 is covered here in the next video we will carry on from the next portion that is from question number 116 so thank you for patiently hearing me out all the best thank you